Merciless Divide, a play by Melanie Skinner. Characters. I'm Leah, 19 years old, a rule follower who is also fiery and free-spirited. Impulsive, extroverted, matched with a loud bohemian fashion sense. Flirtatious, seeking reinforcement of her beauty. Academically, a brilliant student who is taking a gap year from college to pursue for possible avenues in dance. Sister to Seth and Maggie, the oldest of seven, Mormon. Seth, 17 years old, male, gay. Handsome with red-brown hair, green eyes, tall, thin, and a big presence. Somewhat serious and reserved at times, but knows how to turn it on when it comes to social events. A senior at the local high school, he's involved in theater, a serious academic, and wildly popular among his classmates. Growing up, Maggie was like a second mother to him and they were close. Leah gets under his skin at times. Third oldest and sibling of the family. Maggie, 21 years old, the bride and the oldest sister to Leah and Seth. Quiet and sweet without any of a Mormon temple, an unusually cold fall day in Littleton, Colorado, very cold, 1995. Lighting is subdued, indicating impending rain. The stairs are vast and empty. Leah is creating choreography on the steps. What are you doing? What's it look like? You look ridiculous, calling attention to yourself like that. Why can't you just sit like a normal person? You know, I'm not letting you bring me down today. I- Excuse you bring you down. You know we're both con scum here, yet you pretend like everything is okay, dancing around like a damn backup dancer to Beyonce while Maggie gets married and the rest of our family gets to be a part of it. What's wrong with you? Ooh, didn't you say backup dancer to Beyonce? Yes. I hate this family. Look, I know this sucks and we all love each other here. The church can't take that away. It's easy for you to say. You didn't grow up thinking there was something really, really wrong with you, but you didn't fit. Everyone in our family is perfect and straight. Yes, and I'm so perfect, right? I'm a poor son. How do you think I feel? Sleeping with some guy? Having desires is shameful? I'm an embarrassment. I'm impure. I guess we better get used to being outsiders together on these stairs because we are both imposters. We both have made poor decisions and we have to take responsibility. Poor decisions? Why would I go against the thing I've always desperately tried to fit into? I want to be a part of this family. I want to have kids that can be baptized, that are part of a community that takes care of them, and that takes care of me. You can still be a part of it. There's just certain things you won't be allowed to do. Leah, I'm considered an apostate. But you, you can repent, you can make amends. But homosexuality is the worst thing you can be in the church, the ultimate sin. I'll be left alone on these stairs for every wedding of my sisters, brothers, future nieces, nephews, friends. My kids won't be allowed to be baptized, and they can only participate in the church if they disavow our relationship. We will still love you. I will still love you. Just curious, but what will you tell your future kids about me? Are you going to tell them that I'm gay, that my partner is my lover, or will you tell them that he's my best friend and my roommate that likes to tag along at Thanksgiving and Christmas? Oh, what's it going to be? And are you never going to sleep with another man until you're married? Suppress the desires that we are all naturally given? No, never. I made a poor choice and I'm disappointed in myself. I ask for forgiveness every day and know that I'll choose differently next time. Pastor Kimball told me that my virtue is worth more than my life. I believe that and I want to do and be better. Oh, give me a break. As for the future of my kids, you know, I'll tell them the truth. I love and accept you for who you are. But then I won't be allowed to attend their wedding. Wait, are you saying that you love me more than you love yourself? No. Then how do you accept me and not yourself? At least you chose love with John. I chose lust. I wasn't in love. He just made me feel beautiful and desired. I was weak, shallow, stupid. Love begins with lust. It's natural to be wanted. When I saw John, do you think I noticed his beautiful soul right away, or was it his blue eyes that jumped out at me? Thank God he had a beautiful soul, or what else would I be? A whore like you? Thank you, though, for accepting me. I appreciate it more than you know. Maggie's never come right out and said it, and it makes me feel like we aren't close anymore. I mean, honestly, why was my coming out such a shock to everybody? I was Madonna for Halloween when I was nine, for God's sake. I remember that. I also remember when you were bullied at school for taking ballet classes, and I had to go to and I had to school those boys on how athletic ballet actually is, which makes me sad. Why do boys have to choose between being masculine and feminine? Why can't they be both? And why can't girls be taught to be proud of their bodies and their sexuality? 
we're good people, Leah, and we're stuck on the assisted stairs outside of the church with judgment over our heads, and our family doesn't give a damn. We can pretend that we're part of the church, the community, but we will never really be. Maggie's up there, being sealed into the covenant right now, and her life will be different than ours. She'll have gobs of kids that she doesn't want, and never show her shoulders. She'll pretend like everything is perfect. I never want to wear the garments. I hope not. They're oppressive. And ugly. I miss Maggie already. I'm sorry. Maggie exits the church alone, sees Leah and Seth on the stairs. Maggie Hi. looking nervous. Hi guys. You okay? I need some air. Do you need water? I can get you some water. No, I need to know that you guys still love me. All of us left you here on the stairs like you don't matter. I need to know I have your blessing. You are my family too. What were you for your kids about me? What do you mean? Do you know that I'm gay? They won't need to know that until they're much older. How will you explain my love and my job? My best friend like mom and dad do? Gosh, I don't know. Do we have to talk about this right now? I need to know. Come on, Maggie. Tell me what you told me. <laughs> I won't tell them, Seth. I don't want them thinking it's okay to be gay. I still love you. This doesn't change things. I'm not giving you a pass. Do you still love me? Come with me. Let's go home. Seth took Leah's hand. They walk away without looking back. Maggie is left at the top of the stairs with her groom. With him, she turns slowly and enters the church. <laughs>